Hey everybody, welcome back. I am so glad that you could join me. I did finish that first pot holder, which was the Tunisian tin stitch that I showed you last week. This is one side of it. This is the back side of it. This is one of those, it's like double thick here. And then I started another one. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> it's here in my craft room somewhere, I promise. I was doing it in the round. And I was using a blue color. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is that bad that I lose projects? It is. It's got to be here somewhere. And I took everything out of the bag and then switched bags. Is it over here? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I don't know where my project's at. Anyway, you've got to believe me. <clears throat> I started one in the round. It is a variegated blue. I will find it. <laughs> is it in here? Yes, I found it. <laughs> it was in my bag. Duh. Let's see. As is other things that I'm working on. There we go. Alright, so I am doing another pot holder. This will also be a Christmas gift. Um, I'm using this sugar and cream, Lily Sugar and Cream. This is a colorway... Um, yeah. The color number is 02122. Does it have another in? Oh, it's called Hippie. So this is a variegated blue color. And it's wrapped itself around with something else. I am actually using just a regular crochet hook for this. I'm using a size J. This is the Tunisian short round or short short row stitch. Oop, don't let that pull out. This is what I have so far. I'm most of the way around. I just need to finish it. I'm going to finish this and then on the other side since it's also going to be a double thick pot holder. What are you attached to? I bet that's the other skein of yarn. It is. Tisk tisk. Okay, so let me wrap this. The other side, since I don't think, I don't know, I haven't tried, but I'm not going to try because I don't want to lose a yarn chicken. But I don't think I'm going to have enough yarn to do two sides of this hippie blue color, this one right here. So I have chosen this other one. This is also a sugar and cream. And the colorway on this one is Country Stripes. And this is a blue-green variegated. I'm going to do another circle like this one with this color and put it on the back. So that's what those two will look like together. Hopefully it looks really good. Thankfully Christmas is not just right around the corner and I do have a few days left before I have to finish these. So yeah, I'm going to put these right here because they got to go back in my bag. Now the other Tunisian project that I am working on, my current swatch is in this bag. But I also have these two bags right here that I'm also carrying around. These are big bags. <laughs> these bags are full of yarn. This bag right here is full of dark colored yarns so that might be hard to see because it's not bright light there in front of you guys so you can see real well but that's dark colored yarns this other one right here is full of lighter colored yarns which those might be a little easier to see yeah those are a little easier to see so lighter colors and dark colors this is not all of my scrap yarns and these are scrap yarns this is not all my scrap colors, but I figured I've got plenty in these two bags because they're literally, this is full up to here and this is full up to here. So I've got plenty of scraps to work with while I am interested in this project before I get tired of it. So what I am doing is I'm using one of my double-ended long hooks. It is the largest double-ended Tunisian hook that I have and it, unfortunately it is not... Uh, 
a wooden one. This is one that I was gifted to me, I guess. But I am making squares with my double-ended hook, like this. This is my current one on here. This is one side, you can see the, the light color. And on this side, you can see mostly the dark color. I am using some of that Mainstays yarn that I do not like. And I am pairing it with this peach color. And I am pulling these out random. I am not matching anymore. I'm not going to say I didn't match. I do have a, full, a few squares already finished. I don't think I purposely matched. But I may have, you know, attempted to kind of match with the first three that I did. But I realized when I do that, then I just get the same color of squares going together. And it's not a scrappy project. Now, I don't know if I'm making these squares to do a blanket, to make a pillow for scarves. I don't know what I'm making these for, but I am just making them. So here are my first three squares. And both, all of these use a light color on one side and a dark color on the other. This one is a sparkly purple and a variegated pink and red. I think that is the gorgeous. I love it. This one, I have just a plain purple. It's not sparkly. And another variegated pink and red. This one is a little bit more, you know, different. This is a solid purple. And this is a, I'm not sure, it's kind of a, a light brown and a creamy white. And the last one that I have that I've finished is a green and a variegated brown. I think this is called stone or something like that. But there are those. So glad I stopped randomizing my colors because I'm pretty sure I picked these out to go together. But definitely this one and the last one that I showed you, the peach and that mainstays that I don't like, was completely random. I closed my eyes, reached down to the bottom of the bag and pull out a ball that feels big enough. I do the same for the other bag. Get some interesting color combinations. Some of them are combinations that I would never dream of ever putting together. But they always seem to look good together. So that is my current Tunisian project that I am working on. I also do have the other pot holder in my bag that I will also be working on. Because I do need to get that finished before Christmas anyway. So that I can give it as a gift. So that's what I'm working on currently. I don't know. I guess I've lost my train of thought. That's what I'm currently working on. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Or if you would also like to go watch my channel on Rumble. I have a link down in the description box for that as well. I can actually monetize my videos on Rumble. Where here on YouTube, I cannot monetize my videos. So I want to thank you guys for watching my channel, watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video.